What's going on everybody? My name is Greg Peters. You are watching the Car Passion channel and today, Broken Boosted returns and I'm gonna show you how to do a bumper car. There's a couple reasons you might want to do a bumper cut. One is because of aerodynamics and miles per gallon and theories and math and all that stuff. But the real reason you should do a bumper cut, hold on. To fit a sick dual exhaust for maximum street cred. So Broken Boosted is getting this new muffler. It's an aftermarket pseudo unit off of an Evo 10. And we gotta cut the bumper out a little bit because the stock Miata only has a single cut out and this is dual exit so we need to make room. So the first part of doing a bumper cut is marking off where you're gonna cut. And there are several different shapes and sizes you can do for your bumper cut. The sky's the limit. This one we're gonna do pretty conservative. Just gonna go right around the stock exhaust cutout, straight across the bumper, and then mimic that shape on the other side so there's enough room for the dual tips of the new muffler. First side you do is the easy one because you don't have anything to match. You just kinda eyeball it, do it a couple times until you get the curve you like, and then start to go across. What we do is measure when the tape starts to get flat off of the lip in the bumper, and then we do that same measurement. If the tape is perfectly straight, your cut is more likely to be perfectly straight. Once you have one side taped, finding the starting point on the other side can be a little bit more tricky. You can pick a point to measure. In this case, it's the bolt on the mud guard and we're just measuring to where the tape starts. So at least I have a starting point and then I can try to replicate this bend. Okay, so this is a new technique that I've never tried before. I've taped some paper over the curve of where the tape is and I'm gonna try to mark where the tape is underneath and then I'll cut this out, flip it over, and I'm gonna mark it on the other side of the bumper. Once you've got your bumper marked off and you're happy with how symmetric it is, it's time to make the cut. You can do it with a grinding wheel or a Dremel. Today I'm gonna to be using a Dremel. Now up underneath the bumper, you got some little plastic Phillips heads. Once you remove those, the bottom piece of your bumper will come off. The melted plastic is gonna leave a little bit of a rough edge, but a file takes it right off. You are left with the bumpers. Oh, I can't see your shoes, boys. You are left with the bumper support, which is kind of ugly and in the way, depending on what kind of muffler you're putting in. So if you want to modify that, you have to remove the rear bumper. Start by removing the license plate. And inside the trunk, you'll need to remove that nut right there, as well as the one way down in the corner of the trunk. And then the same two are on the other side. Also, do have to take the tail lights out. It's just those four little 10 millimeter nuts and they're easily seen inside the trunk. Once all your hardware's out, you just have those tiny little clips that you'd have to squeeze with pliers as you pull on the finish panel and then it will come off. The finish panel itself is plastic and it's been sitting in the sun for 25 years, so it's very brittle, very easy to break. Once you start to pull it away from the car, you have to lift it up off of this center stud that's behind the license plate, otherwise you could risk cracking it. Next mission is to remove all of these little Phillips heads from the top of that bumper. After you get the plastic Phillips heads out, there are just a couple more bolts right inside the rear fender, holding the bumper itself to the fender. And after you remove those, the bumper can come off. To get your bumper support off, you've got a couple 12 millimeter bolts up on top, four to be exact, and two down on the bottom. This is 
the bumper support removed and you can see where the bumper cut itself was made, the little pink line there. I'm gonna take the Sawzall and go just above that and basically cut the whole bottom part of the support off. Now, I don't really recommend doing this because technically you are reducing the strength of the bumper support. So do this at your own risk, but to make it look clean, this is what we do. That cuts about as straight as the average Miata owner. Alright, so clearly it's been quite a while since I did a bumper cut. I totally forgot. You have to take these plastic pieces off too and cut this bottom part off. Otherwise, this ugly thing will show when you put the bumper back on. So you can see the welded studs here. You got a 14 millimeter nut on the back of each one of those and this thing just pulls off. Come right off. cut your bumper support the desired amount, you can reassemble everything exactly the way you took it apart. And then the last step is gonna be to clean up all the little edges and, and fine tune your cut a little bit on the bumper itself. That's where I'll pick it back up. So in true car passion channel fashion, we are finishing in complete darkness, but it's all good because we got the light set up. The last step, once the car is all back together, is just to get rid of all these fuzzies. So around the corner, you can just use a round file, and you can see they come right off pretty easy. And if you mess up on your corner cut, you can actually use the round file to fine tune that, that bend. Everybody. Well, that is one way to do a bumper cut on a Miata, and the process is pretty similar for an NB. In fact, it's pretty much similar for any car that you want to do a bumper cut on. Now, I kind of have a bad habit of not showing the finished product at the end of my videos. It's completely dark outside. You couldn't see anything anyways, but I'm gonna make it up to you. I'm gonna have a whole video on showing off the updated Broken Boosted exterior, as well as the look of the bumper cut, the new exhaust, and doing some pulls to show you just how sick it sounds. If you wanna see a couple pictures of it, I got them on my Instagram at the Car Passion channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something, and if you do a bumper cut yourself using this video, don't forget to post it on Instagram and tag me so I can check it out. I will see you in the next one. Peace.